Hello, Diggs Mac here, and today I'm talking about why I feel the buying and selling mission should stay in public sessions in G Tone Line, and sort of just having a discussion about uh, the requirement to play in a public session to actually access the buying and selling missions in G Tone Line. So, if you don't know, in G Tone Line, if you are going to be doing some of the new finance and felony missions with the buying and selling of you know warehouses and crates and all that you actually need to be in a public session. If you are an invite only session, solo session, even like a closed friend session or something like that, it will not work. And that has sort of sparked a little bit of controversy, or I guess maybe not controversy, uh, but it has been something that a lot of people have talked about and sort of requested Rockstar to actually let us go in and you know do these buying and selling missions in invite only sessions i want to talk about this and i want to talk about why i personally like them in public sessions but also how i feel they could be balanced in like invite only sessions and stuff like that so while you can't do these buying and selling missions in invite only sessions or solo sessions by yourself you can however do them in public sessions by yourself so if you ever get into a public session where you're completely by yourself then you can do this and that has sort of been something that kind of annoys me is that really like people want this to be an invite only sessions as well and people are going to find a way i don't know why rockstar thinks oh if we just you know put this in the game where people have to actually play them in public sessions that people are actually going to try and play them in public sessions with other players players are going to find a way and they already have um there are pretty easy ways to go about it. and i'm not going to go into the specifics but uh, a few things that you can do is say go into free game sessions you'll find less players there even sometimes whenever i go into single player and then i just go choose character it will usually put me in uh solo sessions there with you know then they're technically public if you ever want to know how you, if you're in a public session then always just look at the top whenever you look at the player list it will say public invite you know solo whatever and if it says public then you can do buying and selling missions by yourself but i kind of understand why they don't want people playing them in sessions by themselves or in invite only sessions and stuff like that and that is because public sessions add that sense of randomness or that unpredictable nature that a public session can add whereas whenever you play them you know and i have played uh these buying and selling missions in sessions where i'm only with friends and stuff and there's no like this unpredictable nature and everything is just ai it's not that fun actually and i don't find it that fun and really it's super easy you know all you have to really get is an insurgent or a karuma depends on the mission mostly and just go in there stay in the vehicle and then pick up the supplies most of the time you're not gonna fail and it just kind of makes it so repetitive and that was one of my problems with the buying and selling missions is that in my review i called them that they are very repetitive and really I feel like one of the reasons why they are so repetitive is that they aren't that challenging whenever you are in a uh, session by yourself where there are no random players who are going to try and take you out. But whenever you add that sort of randomness whenever you're in the game where you don't know if there's going to be a guy in a jet who's going to uh, come and try and kill you or you don't know if there's going to be some dude off the radar who's going to try and kill you. Uh, and steal your supplies or I guess you can't really steal supplies you can only just uh, actually blow them up but you don't know if that's going to happen and it sort of makes you think a little bit it's like do I really want to go and do you know three crates at once whenever I may not even get them my, who knows what my bodyguards will be doing uh, who knows what these other players will be doing and who knows maybe they'll spawn like the crates and stuff will spawn right where this firefight's going down in the middle of the downtown area so you have to think about that and I really do like actually having to think about that. Um, it sort of makes it so much more tense where, you know, there were these times where, you know, I would be with a few bodyguards or associates and, you know, we'd all have like our gear ready for anybody who tried to take us out. And I feel like that was so much more fun than just being an invite only session where it, it just it wasn't as fun um, because it was so easy. There was never that question of will other players come after us? Will we have to defend ourselves or will there be another person near us that is also delivering cargo and maybe we should go take them out? However, I do also see on the other end, I don't feel like Rockstar should have restricted people uh, from doing these in, in public sessions only. 
Because like I said, people are going to find a way. And that just means that less people are going to be trying to find sessions. Less people are going to be in sessions. And they're just going to try and find sessions that are by themselves. Which they're not really adding to the player base there. You know, they're not filling up these sessions. They're just in sessions by themselves. And that would be fine if they weren't just trying to join and join and join other sessions to try and get into a public session where they're by themselves. And they also wouldn't be trying to do other, you know, weird methods where, you know, they disable their router or unplug this cable to this cable and, you know, do this, uh, put your Xbox in the toaster. And I feel like Rockstar, they're, they're kind of gullible in that way where they're like, oh, people aren't going to find a way. People aren't going to try and abuse the system because it is going to happen. It's it totally going to happen. And I feel like it's just, it would have been nice if they actually did this for players who do want to play these in solo sessions maybe that's not for me um but it would have been nice and really i feel like their main fear was that people were going to be able to abuse this in invite only sessions and while you kind of can it's not that difficult to actually do it there are much easier and much uh, quicker ways and much better ways to get money overall than doing these buying and selling missions like i said in a previous video i'm not going to dwell on this too long but it's not that much money, uh, profit-wise, for our, doing a full large warehouse. You know, since you have to put up so much money for the CEO system and to become a CEO, with not very much gain unless you do it a lot. And while you can get a bit of money, it's not the greatest way. And it's weird because you can already become a VIP. You can already do VIP work in sessions by yourself. In invite-only sessions, you can do Sightseer. You can do Hostile Takeover. Uh, asset recover you can't do some of the other ones uh like executive search and uh, i think even piracy prevention uh you can't do those but some of them even the new ones like headhunter you can do those in sessions by yourself and those give you about 20 and you can do those each like five ten minutes and they don't they, they, they aren't that difficult really um i mean the, the hardest one would probably be headhunter because those AI have such great accuracy. I don't know if Rockstar was too scared of people to abuse the system, but really, you can't. I mean, I I haven't seen that many people raking in the money. And while you can, it's going to take a long time. And it's not much better than the other methods of getting money. And what I feel like they should have done is make it so that you are in a session by yourself. Then give the AI better weapons give them give them better accuracy give them better weapons give them m even more ai have it so that if there's one mission where you have to go pick up a crate and you have to and you have to go steal a vehicle or something and it's in this guarded area if you are in a public session there are less guards guarding the vehicle whereas if you are in a session by yourself then have them have better weapons maybe give them explosives or uh you know better weapons overall and also give them better accuracy. That would have been so much better than just disallowing people from actually doing it in the first place. And doing these uh, invite-only sessions. And it would have been so much better. Make them, you know, have a higher chance to spawn vehicles and better vehicles. Let them have armored vehicles like the Shafter uh, WLB armored and the Baller armored and stuff like that. Um, have them spawn those so that you can't just, you know, you spam explosives. And if you are in, say, an Insurgent or a Kuruma, you do have to put more shots and you have to be more careful. Also, make them, if they are in, like, a, a Kuruma armored or something like that, spawn in savages, spawn in buzzards, spawn in annihilators, spawn in these helicopters, spawn in other vehicles as well. Even something like a tank or an Insurgent or a limo, turreted limo, something like that would kind of balance out these game modes it would actually have a little bit of challenge sure it probably wouldn't be as effective as some guy in a jet who's trying to kill you it wouldn't be as it wouldn't be as frightening as that it wouldn't make it as intense but it would sort of balance them out where not each and every time you're gonna get a crate and it wouldn't be too difficult and honestly that's what i feel like they should do I personally like doing the buying and selling in public sessions, and even if you were able to do them in sessions by yourself, which you kind of can if you are in a public session, but, you know, even if you could do it in invite-only sessions and stuff like that by yourself, I probably wouldn't do them because I just find them kind of boring overall, and I just, I'm not a huge fan of them uh, by myself, but with other players, 
They can be so much more entertaining. But I also feel like Rockstar really shouldn't have limited the players in their ability to do these in sessions by themselves. But anyways, leave your thoughts on this in the comments. Do you like these buying and selling missions by yourself? Uh, do you try and play them in public sessions where you're by yourself? Or do you just love to do them in public sessions with, you know, 30 other players where it's so unpredictable? Let me your thoughts on that in the comments. Hope you enjoy. Feedback is appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video.